God is good. Hallelujah. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Hello, beloved church family. Oh, my goodness. Praise God. You can feel it. Amen. Yeah, the, the time is coming real close. We're all so excited. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Say that with me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the end of the day, that's, that, that's just it. Bottom line. Amen. Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and my Savior. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. There's no name, hallelujah, that can touch that name. Hallelujah. The name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I pray that you've had a beautiful Saturday. Oh, my goodness. Praise God. Saturday evening worship service. We're excited to, to kick things in gear in this new season. Hallelujah. Just uh, so many things that Holy Spirit is doing through our church body. It's just uh, absolutely incredible to just see God's presence flow the way God loves to flow. Amen. We just need to get out of the way. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. I, I want to get out of the way. Praise God. I just want to praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Allow your Holy Spirit anointing to just flow. Amen. And to just bless God. Amen. To bless our Father God. Hallelujah. Don't you share that with me? I know I stand in agreement with you. Amen. Don't you want to be the child that just wants to bless God Almighty in everything. Say it with me, everything, hallelujah, everything that God wanted from the very beginning. Praise God. God is so good, so perfect. Hallelujah. I know it's a no dust statement. Amen. Many of you are like, amen, praise God. He is. He's a good, loving, perfect father. Amen. And he wants to do everything, everything for you, for me. Why? Because you freely received with all of your heart, with all of your mind, amen, with all of your Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just by doing that, amen, just by doing that, beloved of God, just by opening yourself to surrender to Lord Jesus Christ, you have shown God, hallelujah, can I get an amen? You have shown God, I want you, Father, I need you, amen, every breath is you. Hallelujah, every breath, hallelujah. Breathe with me, beloved church family. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God, amen, amen. So I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna ask you to pray with me, praise God, pray for our entire leadership, amen. Now listen, beloved church family, this just goes through the anointing of Holy Spirit to speak this, praise God, but I, I need all of Open Arms Community Church to know, amen, that regardless, regardless what date they may give, and you know, what, regardless of what, they, they put out there, amen, we always submit to what the elders say, amen. What God tells the elders, that's God's order, amen. So I just, I just want to encourage our church family, I have, I have a, and God bless you guys, amen. I love all the encouragement, especially all the prayers, praise God. We need it, Trish and I, we need it. Pastor John, Pastor Mary, all the elders, deacons and leadership, we all need it, amen. We need all the prayers, praise God. If you don't want the prayer, guess what? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. We all need the prayers. Amen. And I want to say thank you so much for that. And, and especially I want to say thank you for showing your relationship with Lord Jesus Christ and just being submissive. Come on now, family. We know we have a servant's heart. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ is our master. We have a servant's heart, which means that we submit to what Holy Spirit tells us to do and what God has put in place. Amen. Because God is a God of order. And so I'm so excited as far as with what God is doing. And, I, and, and please pray for our elders. Praise God. Pray for them. Hallelujah. They're constantly going to the throne, constantly praying for you, for me. You know, I, I mean, you got to think they, they, they have a lot in what they do. Not only in the position that they hold within the church body, but praise God as far as just having fear to the Holy One and doing everything that Holy Spirit says to do. Amen. So praise God. Let's just give God a round of applause. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Our worship service this evening is titled Mission Impossible. Can you say that with me? Mission Impossible. Praise God. And I will tell you that as I worked on this message today and just trying to be obedient to what Holy Spirit had, it, it gave me cold chills. It really did. And Glory to God, Lord Jesus Christ just encourages us every, every time, every day, amen? 
He's our encourager. Holy Spirit will encourage you. He will build you up. He will remind you what Lord Jesus Christ done said, went through. Amen. Holy Spirit will remind you where Lord Jesus Christ is now. Glory to God. Right? Seated at the throne. But seated at the throne of your heart, of my heart. Praise God. Amen. And just say it with me. Hallelujah. Agape. Praise God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And we're just so excited as far as every time we come together in how Holy Spirit teaches us. I, I tell you this all the time and I pray that I'm faithful in telling you this all the time. Holy Spirit is our only teacher. Amen. You have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Holy Spirit will use you because Lord Jesus Christ is the only way. He's the only way. He's the truth and he is life. Amen. Life eternal. Eternally. Eternally. Mm. Hallelujah. Pray for me. Praise God. Eternally. Hallelujah. And he is the only way to have Holy Spirit living through you, living through me. Amen. And when you have Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit wants you to just really just hold fast, hold firmly. Right. Keep your feet fitted in the gospel of peace. Amen. Who he is. And watch what God will do through this anointing. Amen. So let's pray. Praise God. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for your anointing, for your blood, Father, that was spilt through agape, Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Father, for your blood that covers me for all of eternity. We are your holy church, Father God, purchased through you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are covered, all of us, Father God. May I be so bold to say, Father, every soul that has heard your voice through any one of us, Father, at Open Arms Community Church, the Holy Spirit, that is your temple, your beloved child. And Father God, I just thank you right now for a fresh anointing. So Holy Spirit, bless me. Rebuke my pride. Rebuke me. Use me as a mouthpiece, Father. Speak to us through your living word in Christ Jesus. And Holy Spirit, we bless you for you are the only one. We thank you so much, Holy Spirit, once again, for your presence that overflows within us. In the Holy of Holies, renew our mind, Father God. And Father, go before us. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Give somebody a high five. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just get started. I'm going to try. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit dealt with me today about getting back into going into the order of the time frames that we have for Saturday evening, Sunday morning, Tuesday night, I am recovered, and Wednesday evening, midweek worship service. So um, pray for me with that, please, because I have to be obedient to what Holy Spirit wants. Amen. And uh, once again, the old is dead and gone. Hallelujah. And this is a new season. Praise God. So we are so excited as far as with what God is doing. Hallelujah. I just get, like you, I just get so excited and caught up in it and by the grace of God, I know who I'm surrounded with. Hallelujah. I know who I worship with. We're one in Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we just want to bless Holy Spirit. And, you know, just like right now, you know, you could just feel the love and the anointing just flowing. And that's what God wants to do. Amen. But please keep that lifted up in prayer. Praise God. We're going to start off in Hebrews chapter 6. And we're just going to go quickly uh, through verses 4 through 8. And then we're going to sum everything, everything up in the gospel of Matthew in chapter 19, verse 26, from the words of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't you, don't you wish, don't you pray that you just say his name and you hear that trumpet go off the moment you say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. It's going to happen soon, family. It's going to happen soon. And you could not only feel it in the atmosphere, but you could hear it. Amen. And you could see it. You could see it happening. Praise God. And I just thank God that all his angels right now are around us. Hallelujah. We welcome every, every angel of God to bless us with his holy presence. Amen. Angels of God, fight for us. Amen. Say it with me. Fight for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's get into this. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4. Notice the impossible moved over, and we're going to cover these two things. Praise God. 
It is impossible for those, we're going to skip to the very last part, to be brought back to repentance. Now, beloved church family, this is another one of those messages that I wish Pastor John would have preached. <laughs> Praise God. And not, not only because of, the, uh, of, of the, the weight that it carries, amen, but I, I believe, you know, I believe that Pastor John would do a, a gooder job than I would. But we're one, hallelujah, and um, I, I know you already know, I asked, I asked Holy Spirit, can Pastor do this instead of me? And he said, nope, this is for tonight. So I said, okay, hallelujah, say hallelujah with me, praise God. Just gets gooder and gooder, amen. Say it with me, be obedient. Amen. Hallelujah. Be obedient. Oh, Father God. Thank you, Lord. It is impossible for those, skip all the way down, to be brought back to repentance. Now, I know some of you have your Bible out and you're already going through it. Amen. And I thank you for that. But I ask you right now at this moment, please just give me your attention in this, in this, this short period. Just give me your attention. And please, you get back into the Word. Holy Spirit, do what Holy Spirit says. The Holy Spirit said, put a charge out there because we, we need to get this. Amen. It is impossible for those to be brought back to repentance. Now, let's go ahead and fill this in in what it says all together now. Okay. It is impossible for those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, who have shared in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit. Say his name. Holy Spirit. Now say your church. Open Arms Community Church. Amen. This is Holy Spirit's church. Amen. Who have tasted the goodness of the word of God. Amen. This is the goodness of Lord Jesus Christ. The gooder and gooder. Amen. The gooder and gooder. Say it with me. Gooder and gooder. The only way you can get gooder and gooder is through Lord Jesus Christ. Only through Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because Lord Jesus Christ himself, hallelujah, sends the gooder. Amen. His name is Holy Spirit to live in us forever. Hallelujah. And the powers of this coming age. Amen. We've, uh, in this very short season, that, uh, hallelujah, by all the blessings of the Lord, to be here in Open Arms Community Church in a little over two years, we have seen every kind of miraculous thing you can see. Amen. Every kind of miraculous thing that you can see. And it's just the power of the coming age. Amen. And then it sums up with this. And who have fallen away. Verse 6. It is impossible for those who have fallen away to be brought back to repentance. Now, beloved church family, once again, like I said, this is a, a heavy message. And praise God, I pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the name above every name, that this message, only through the anointing of Holy Spirit, because God is our teacher, he's our only teacher, and he's the only one that can make this message go to the ones that need to hear it before the trumpet sounds. But even after the trumpet sounds, when we're gone, when we're in heaven, in perfection, with Lord Jesus Christ, by the grace of God, this message will be here, for people to hear this. And this is why Holy Spirit put this on my heart and wanted this to be out here for anyone right now who is struggling. Please, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I'm going to ask you, wake up. Because I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of brothers and sisters that I personally know that have completely closed out fellowship and worship with other brothers and sisters because they are deceived in pride and they have made themselves their own God. That they know the Bible better than anybody else. That they find everything wrong with everybody. Hear me now. And it got to the point where they start worshiping themselves. They start worshiping their emotions. They start worshiping their pride. They start worshiping as far as this person did this to me and I'm, I'm so upset. And all, it, all of it is idolatry. All of it. It's, it's from pride. It's from disobedience. 
It's from getting to the point in pride where you, you, you know I love to say the word crunchy. And it just sums it all up. Because of insecurity, because of past hurt, unforgiveness, religion, right? Knowing, supposedly knowing the Bible so good that the fruits that come out of them is not Holy Spirit fruit. Come on, church family, help me, please. Right? That I know the Bible, but yet what comes out of me is just Bible bashing and judgment and criticalness and hatred and racism and bigotry. That's not Holy Spirit. And this is what God is saying. It is impossible for those to be brought back to repentance because they chose to worship themselves rather than saying, I need help. Ah, Father, forgive me. See, many people take this message or what I say, and I know, I know, praise God. Holy Spirit, give me wisdom, praise God. And I know many of you know that are brothers and sisters of mine that are rooted here in Open Arms Community Church. People get offended when I say things like this. And it's in those moments right there where agape is exposing the enemy. Because see, I'm not attacking nobody. I am telling you the power of the testimony of Lord Jesus Christ. And how Lord Jesus Christ saved me even when I was so consumed with my pride, with religion, that I wanted nothing to do with Holy Spirit. I wanted everything to do with religion, right? And it got nowhere. And by the grace and mercy of God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ said, do you want to serve me? Are you willing to be my servant? Right now, God is asking those of you right now listening to this message to examine our heart. Amen. The Holy of Holies, where Holy Spirit is. And are there areas in our life that we try to keep Holy Spirit out or we actually think that God doesn't know? To me, that's the utmost deception now. When we think that God, God knows everything. So the beauty about our God is that he is just waiting for you, for I, to confess. Say with me, I confess. Now, glory to God, there's many of you right now that said, I confess. Amen? And the beauty of your anointing and your relationship with Father God is you're just so open to just saying, Father, whatever it is, may, I may not even be aware of it. I confess. Just get it out. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But then there are some of you right now that are just so upset. And may I tell you, is it worth it? Because I'm just going to be honest with you. Holy Spirit gave me permission. You can always find something to complain about in every pastor. You can always find something to complain about in every church, in every denomination. You can find something to grumble about, to complain. And guess what? You can find other people that want to join you in doing that. But my question to you is, is it worth it? When you know the price that was paid for Holy Spirit to live in us, is it worth it to live like that and to push Holy Spirit aside? Because right now, right, right now, we're just starting right now on the first slide. It is impossible for those. And this is the title of our worship service, Mission Impossible. Amen? Praise God. Let's move on. Say this word with me, repentance. Hallelujah. Repentance. So do you believe in your mind and in your heart that Lord Jesus Christ is in heaven? Amen. I know many of you are like, amen, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah. Do you believe that Lord Jesus Christ is in heaven, amen, preparing a mansion for you, hallelujah? Do you believe that he is the perfect one? Perfect. Now listen, part of this message has to do with, if you say Lord Jesus Christ is perfect, 
then why are you worshiping the Ten Commandments? Why are you worshiping the Old Covenant? Sometimes when we get really deep like this, Holy Spirit, agape, is going to expose things that, guess what, we need to get right. For the past, I don't know how long now, every message Holy Spirit's been giving me, pastor, is the perfection of Lord Jesus Christ. He is the perfect one, amen? Amen. He is the Word of God. Before the Word became flesh, Lord Jesus Christ was the Word of God. Amen? Which means everything, the Ten Commandments that I said to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, I'm going to ask you, do you believe Lord Jesus Christ is the only Son of God, the perfect one, that He fulfilled everything? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because, see, this is the perfection of God's blood now. If you say, well, yes, pastor, but, there is no but about this. There's no but about this. Because Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. And he is God's perfect sacrifice. He is the Lamb of God. Amen? So if you're so hung up, if you're one of these religious people that are so hung up or something deceived you, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was, maybe it was a, a circumstance or situation. I don't know. Maybe it was seminary. Maybe it was the, 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 I don't know. Maybe it was the denomination you were in. But in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we need to, we need to nail this to the cross now. Is Lord Jesus Christ perfect? And hallelujah, as you, as you say, Lord, you are perfect. You are worthy. You fulfilled every requirement. That's why you are perfect. That's why there's freedom in your name. Hallelujah. That's why there's healing in your name. See, if you don't believe Lord Jesus Christ is perfect and he did what he said he did, what the Holy Bible said he did, and above all, what Holy Spirit tells us, what agape did on that cross and you wonder why you're living in sickness, in poverty, in, 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 in torment, in confusion. Here it is. Hallelujah. Father God is saying, let's get this right. Because there is nothing more perfect than our Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get a hallelujah? Woo, hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Say when you repent, there's power in repentance. I love repenting why because it just shows that lord jesus christ is my master is my god is my savior and when i call on him when i just stay focused and when i think about him i tell lord jesus don't let me speak this way and guess what holy spirit says you're no longer going to speak that way amen hallelujah say with me repent Do you believe what Lord Jesus Christ did on the cross is perfect? Do you believe that he was tortured? Do you believe that he was beaten? To the point of barely recognizing Do you believe that this is a perfect work of God? Forgive us, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. In Hebrews 6, let's continue on. Hallelujah. 
It says, to their loss, and this is talking about, quickly now, this is talking about the ones that fell away. Say it with me, fell away, right? Listen, I know many of you know, brothers and sisters, remember, we don't hurt Holy Spirit. We're not judging them. Pray for them. Can I get an amen? Pray for them. Hallelujah. If you have any contact with them, send them this message. Amen. Send them this message. Send them the video. Amen. And I'm just a brother in Christ trying to tell you that the time is coming near. The time is coming near. And this is an opportunity right now to just completely, completely just crucify ourselves. Amen. So it says to their loss, they are crucifying. Hear me now, church family. Listen. To their loss, they are crucifying the Son of God all over again and subjecting him to public disgrace. So this message is for all those that fell away. But yet I know many that fell away and the crutch that they use is, well, I know Jesus. I've been a Christian since I was eight years old. I hear this a lot, and I tell you right now, who pray for me. I hear this a lot. Well, I was raised in church. It hurts, right? This is, this is where we are at right now. The whole world is at a standstill. And by the grace of God, hallelujah, Holy Spirit has anointed us. We are covered by the blood of God, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord, amen, amen. All his angels are around us, amen. We are God's chosen. We are his holy people. Not because of our righteousness, it's because of his, amen. Give God praise, hallelujah. It's all because of Lord Jesus Christ. Right, beloved church? It's all because of Lord Jesus Christ and how perfect he is because the Father God loves us so much that he gave us Lord Jesus. Amen? Real simple, right? Real simple. Real simple. We receive Lord Jesus Christ. We are adopted into, amen, the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God has moved down here on earth into us. And now Holy Spirit lives in us. And Holy Spirit has expectations of us as children of God. And it's in these expectations are we striving to please God, to glorify Holy Spirit in us by making this a holy temple. Amen? You see, we don't make this holy. Lord Jesus Christ is the one that makes this holy. Amen? And the presence of Holy Spirit in you and in me, hallelujah, through relationship, right, with God our Father, Holy Spirit will change our very being. Hallelujah. I, listen, beloved church, I'm surrounded by all of you. Amen. Worshippers in spirit and in truth, the ones God, hallelujah, seeks for. It's all over your business, hallelujah, all over your house, all over your children. Why? It's his, amen? And this is how God wants to be worshipped in a child of God. When we are completely, hallelujah, just completely just wiping ourselves, crucifying this, this flesh, rebuking thoughts, amen? Even to the point where you're like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to think that anymore. Hallelujah. I'm only going to think of you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And this is what confirms the word and the word that was just spoken right now. In a disobedient child of God that is filled with pride. That is filled, once again, in disobedience. Tasted. You, heard, you read what it said. Praise God. I'll put it back on the screen. Hallelujah. But tasted the goodness of God. Witnessed the power. Hallelujah. The power of God. Fellowship in the Holy Spirit. Come on now, church family. They, they, they've witnessed all that. 
was a part of it, and then they fell away. Why did they fall away? Somebody got hurt. Huh? Somebody got hurt. Somebody got offended. Right? Can you say this with me? No more. Hallelujah. No more in Jesus' name. I believe and declare in this new season that God has ushered in for Open Arms Community Church, we're going to see and witness a harvest of worshipers. Amen. Holy Spirit worshipers. Hallelujah. They just want to bless Lord Jesus Christ, lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, be one in the Heavenly Father. Amen. Be one in God. Hallelujah. Be a blessing unto God first and a blessing unto the families, church family, the community. Hallelujah. No religion about it. Just coming together, being grounded in the word, exposing every foul thing and allowing God's presence to cut every head off in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And again, amen. Praise God. Let's give God praise. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. So let's continue on. I love this picture. Land that drinks in the rain, often falling on it. And that's what you see right here. You see the rain falling on that little plant praise God land that drinks in the rain often falling on it look how beautiful this is and that produces a crop say with me that 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 is Holy Spirit amen that is Holy Spirit hallelujah that is the rivers of living water that is the eternal water praise God and we are that land we are that ground amen we are that ground hallelujah Remember the seed of Lord Jesus Christ, praise God, the seed of heaven, the seed of heaven, hallelujah, looked at Father God, said, it's time to save my church, come down, amen? And Lord Jesus Christ says, unless this wheat, right, unless this grain falls and dies, that's who Lord Jesus Christ is, praise God. And that seed of Lord Jesus Christ, we are the good ground, amen? Say it with me, I am, hallelujah, say it with me, I am God's ground, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are his real estate. Amen. Praise God. Oh, I love this. Check this out. Useful to those for whom it is farmed. Useful to those for whom it is farmed. Meaning that you're producing fruit. Amen. Holy Spirit fruit. Hallelujah. Receives the blessings of God. Amen. You receive the blessing of God tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every moment, every day, amen? Gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Why? Lord Jesus Christ did it, amen? And we just keep lifting up his name. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Now check this out. But land that produces thorns and thistles is worthless and is in danger of being cursed. In the end, it will be burned, amen? Now, once again, this is just a warning, hallelujah, for our church, amen, for this entire world, for our church. And notice, it's for Christians, children of God. It's impossible. Whenever the Bible says that, wow, amen? Land that produces thorns and thistles. This is symbolically speaking of pride, the hardness of heart, right? Disobedience, right? Malice, envy, lust, perversion. You experience the anointing of God in the fellowship, but one distraction from the enemy cause you to just be disobedient and to just fall away. And then the deception of the devil is, yeah, you're right. Forget them. You just move on. And as you, ugh, as you sit in that filth, it's like the pig pen of the prodigal son. Amen? That's why Lord Jesus Christ said that parable, because it applies to so much. You can say that, yeah, my father 
I can eat better than in this pig pen because even the help eats good, right? But the, but the question is, is, are you going to repent? Are you going to say, I'm done with this? Listen, you, you, you may have recently been hurt and taken down this road where now you just want nothing to do with the church, Christians, whatever it is. And in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that this message from Holy Spirit blesses you that you just, I, I, I can't fall away. Beloved church family, say that with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Holy Spirit, don't let me fall away. Amen. Because I will tell you, being in that condition of falling away, it's very deceptive. Criticalness, just bitterness, and you just see the manifestation of true religion. You know, like Pharisees, Sadducees, and all it does is just fuels darkness. Say with me, no more in Jesus' name. You can even feel it in your home right now or wherever you're listening to this message, right? No more. And for those of you, remember, most of us all know somebody that has fallen away. And please, in the name of Jesus Christ, share this message. Let them know. Let them know what the Word of God says. That the Word of God is already saying it's impossible for them to repent and come back. But then if you notice, there is encouragement. Speaking of the land that has Holy Spirit and the anointing is just, oh, come on now. And then now you see this picture, the thorns and thistles and pride and disobedience, right? Let's move on. These two, side by side, God says, pick one. You can't have both, right? We're going to close in this. And this is really what's going to tie everything together and bring this message encouragement and also a fresh anointing for those that know either a loved one, either whoever it is that, are, that, that, that have fallen away to just have them come back. This is what I love so much about Open Arms Community Church. Praise God. Praise God. Can I get a hallelujah? Every one of our church members, every one of our church family knows there have been people that left, praise God, and then they came back. And when they came back, they were, they were afraid because the enemy lied and deceived them thinking that, oh, they're gonna be, they were going to be um, you know, shunned or they were going to be you know, outcasted or people are going to be upset. But the moment, the moment that they come in those doors, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, agape, just floods. Amen? Amen? And isn't it amazing that that's how the devil just wants to deceive a child of God? Hold on to that hurt. Hold on to those insecurities. Hold on to how that person hurt you or how you don't agree with this. or You, don't, you know what? At the end of the day, does it matter what you agree with and don't? At the end of the day, does it matter that you were right and I was wrong? At the end of the day, when you're standing before Lord Jesus Christ, does any of that matter? Amen? Amen? So, so, so let's just let that go. Hallelujah. And let's bless Holy Spirit and show God that we are unified in one Holy Spirit, in one body. And his name is, say with me, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And this is what Lord Jesus Christ said. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Let's just give God praise. Amen. So we got to keep in mind. We got to keep in mind. Now remember, the way Holy Spirit teaches is beyond what we can comprehend or understand. We just worship Lord Jesus and lift up his name. Amen. That's all we do. We just, we just worship. We just praise God for what he done did. Amen. 
And as we're worshiping God and the Holy Spirit speaking and teaching us and everything else, we have to remember that the way God is warning those who have fallen away, praise God, as long as there's breath, there's time. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. And also, Holy Spirit is charging. Say that with me. Charging. He's charging his holy church, saying, I will not tolerate this. Amen? I will not tolerate this. So, glory to God, here we are. Hallelujah, here we are in this new season with a fresh anointing with God's presence flowing through us like never before. Amen. And just be, just get ready. Get ready for God to bless you. Amen. Okay, okay, okay. Going to be blessed today. Hallelujah. You're going to be blessed today. Amen. I don't care what time it is, you're going to be blessed today. Amen. Why? Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. He's perfect, lacking nothing. Amen. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. Glory to God. His blood covers us for all of eternity. Hallelujah. And who validated that? Amen. Who sealed that? Holy Spirit. Many of you beat me to it. Holy Spirit in you and in me. Amen. I pray that this message of Mission Impossible blessed you. Amen. As you can tell, I mean, I'm just being transparent. I pray, hallelujah, in this new season that I, I, I just don't limit God. Amen. I just... I want us to be transparent, just, just bless Holy Spirit and allow His, his holiness, his, his gooder and gooder just flowing through us, amen? Because remember, beloved church family, the moment that we adopt or take on the eyes of being critical or being judgmental, remember what it does. It puts darkness in you. Rebuke that, amen? The moment you start seeing that, the moment you start you know, looking at something and you know that it's the wrong heart, immediately, just shut your eyes. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me. Forgive me. This thing tried. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that your light just shines and you cut every head off in Jesus' name. Amen? Remember, it's war. Hallelujah. How do we win this war? We've already won, praise God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen? And in the, in, in the middle of the battle, Remember, plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just plead his holy blood. Thank him. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you love me because you gave me, Lord Jesus. And I thank you, Father God, that right now you knew I would say this to you. You knew it, Father. You knew it from the beginning of time that I would say, I love you, Father God. With all of my heart, soul, mind, and strength, Jesus Christ is Lord. And Holy Spirit, I know that you're the only one. You're the only one that can do this. So I surrender completely to you. Hallelujah. I pray that you receive that tonight. Amen. I love you so much, church family. Oh, my gosh. You guys are just absolutely incredible. I thank God for your anointing and how you bless Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. How you are a blessing to God first and foremost, and you just bless everybody around you. Amen. Remember, we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, strength, spirit, everything we got, amen? Everything, say it with me, everything. We love God with everything. And it's in his presence that he will love everybody else, amen? I pray that this message bless you, praise God. I'm so excited to worship tomorrow morning, Sunday morning. Praise God, invite somebody, hallelujah. We got a special service plan, praise God. I just wanna say thank you so much again for just being a blessing. I cannot say that enough. I'll say for all of eternity, thank you for blessing God. Amen. Love you. Love you, love you, love you. God is good. <laughs> All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Love you. See you in the next half an hour. Mwah.